What is up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome back to another workout. Um, today we're going to work on our pancake technique. Um, the pancake is not just something to eat but also like a pose. Um, I'm going to like show you a picture now. That's the pancake. Uh, that's what we're going to try to achieve. And yeah, um, let's see if we can do that. Um, and the pancake often like gets confused with the splits, with the middle splits. It's not, it's not middle splits but like it's a way to um, train your middle splits as well because like it's you do kind of the same exercises to get there. So now let's get into the warm up. Um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start in a child's pose and we're going to to the front and push up and back. And you don't like have to push up all the way. You can just like push up like this and go back. Because as you see, I'm keeping like my feet on the floor do whatever feels right for you. You can do it like this. It's just to get the blood flowing and not so much about form, although of course we don't want to hurt ourselves. No, we never want to overdo something. Whee. And let's do three more here. That's one, two, and last but not least, three. Arm back into child's bows. Three. And now come uh, into a tabletop position. Now your feet, uh, your knees underneath your hips, your wrists underneath your shoulders. Tuck your feet under and up into bear plank and down. Bear plank and down. And that is just lifting your knees a tiny little bit on the floor. And up and down. And up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And now hold it up there for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come into a high plank and whee, push back into downward dog. Wait, wait a second, I gotta take this off. I'm sliding away. Okay, high plank, downward dog, and high plank, and downward dog. You can have your knees bend if you want to, because we're just warming up. It's not so much about like getting the downward dog right up, nailing it. It's more about moving. And plank and downward duck and plank and downward duck and again and downward duck and plank and stay here and give me some slow mountain climbers slow mountain climber and ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and down three. and come onto your back and let's do like some bicycles with our legs just to warm those legs up to get the blood flowing because we should always be warmed up when we're doing stretching I mean you don't have to do like a sports warm-up you could even like maybe take a hot shower or something if you just want to stretch but yeah make sure that you're warm also in order to be better at stretching because if your muscles are cold they're not going to stretch that far and reverse that direction reverse it and we're almost done with the warm-up it's a short warm-up if you need a longer warm-up do some of the videos i have like the warm-up videos they're not that long either but like you could do one two in a row or just like do some jumping jacks dance to your favorite song Whatever feels right for you. And up. Okay. Whee. Now, let's start with the stretching. Hey. Um, yeah. First of all, take a deep breath. And when you exhale, bring your hands to your feet if you can. Or if you're here, then you're here. That's totally fine too. 
and then like kind of rock back and forth. Make sure to keep your back straight. We don't want to like have a wrong back like that. You want to have a nice and straight back. So if you're up here, then you're up here, there's no problem. I rather want you up here than like down here. Come onto your feet, hands to the floor, and up. And if you can, straighten your legs. If you cannot straighten them, then you're having them bound. That's totally fine too. And just feel the stretch. Maybe like bend one leg and have the other one straight. On to the other side. And again, to one side. And to the other side. Now you can open your legs a bit farther apart, a bit much farther apart. Grab your elbows and rock from side to side. Just let your head hang, enjoy the view or whatever there is to enjoy. Okay. Now bring your upper body closer towards one leg and hold on to that leg. And now to the other side and hold on to that leg. Oh my God, there's a, there's a tiny little hole in my, in my leggings. It always starts with a tiny little hole and then like the whole thing rips apart. We know how that works. So, come down again. And now, Let's open our legs. You don't have to open them as wide as you can because in a pancake, just like you see, it's like not a split. Um, but yeah, hold them, feet up, and kind of rock back and forth, back and forth, like that. Uh, back and forth, and try to maintain a straight back when doing that. Now, turn to one side. Hands beneath, uh, beneath, at the sides of your knees. And same thing here. Kind of rocking forward towards that knee. And walk over to the other side. Same thing here. And up. And maybe keep your feet flexed for the moment. And back to the middle. And if you can, come onto your elbows. But if you cannot, come onto your elbows yet with a straight back. No, I don't want you to be down here like that. No, again, straight back. And onto your elbows. And if you cannot come onto your elbows, you're up here. I mean, even if you're here, I want you to maintain that straight back. If you're up here, you're up here. So. And stay here for a moment. Flex your feet and point them and flex and point and maybe you are up here flexing and pointing just like i said maintain that straight back that's the most important part and if you do these stretches each day or every other day you finally get lower deeper whatever and point and flex and point and flex come up again or maybe you're already up here and now Kinda slide in with your <laughs> with your legs, like bend your knees and out, bend and out, bend and out. And when you're going out, try to lift your heels a tiny little bit off the floor. If you're not lifting them off the floor, no problem. Think about lifting them, and one day you will, and you might feel it in your quads. And out. and the yoga mat might be bending like mine is. Doesn't matter. And up, and up, and up. Okay, now bring your feet in like that. Bring them together, it's like a butterfly stretch. Grab your feet and press your legs into the floor. Maybe you're up here. If you're a beginner, that's normal. Even like advanced people, some of they don't get lower down. Oh, it, oh, up. <laughs> it all depends on your body. All of bodies, everybody and everybody is different. So yeah, 
don't uh, feel too bad. If there's something you cannot do, then there are other things you can do. I mean, we're all different and that's great. Bring one hand behind you and the other hand will press down the opposite leg, like the opposite leg of the hand that's behind you. you know, the, the hand presses down the same leg, on the, that is the same side. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did I confuse you? I hope not. I mean, you can see what I'm doing and just copy me. And the other side. And again, butterfly move like you want to fly with your, with your legs. Fly, fly away. Okay, now bend forward. And now you can have a round back if you want to. You don't have to have a straight back. Round back and as far down as you can. You could like even interlace your fingers behind your back and give your back a little stretch and your arms. It's not necessary, but make feel good. Just give it a try. Okay. Hey. Now, one foot goes out, the other one, the other foot goes to the thigh, and then we're trying like to fold over the leg. And again, we're trying to maintain a straight back, so we're not like uh, trying to like get our head to our knee or something like that. No, we're trying to get our chest to the knee. And when you think about getting your chest towards your knee, your back will stay straight because you cannot get it there but like this and again if you're up here you're up here stretching is all about patience you get a stretch on a regular basis and take your time and eventually you'll get better it's like with almost everything like not everything takes patience but a lot of things do especially things that we cannot do yet okay okay now you can lay down on the leg and you can even like bend your back now if you you can have round back now that's fine for the moment then your leg might even like start to shake a little bit mine is that's totally fine that's okay and come up and let's do this on the other side same thing here we were trying to think about getting our, our chest towards our knee Oh, the sun is coming out. Oh, they're so nice. I was missing the sun so much. Fair enough. And try it again, like back and forth. And if you're up here, you're up here. Oh yeah, I was missing the sun actually, really, really, really. Um, when I got up, I was thinking, okay, the sun should already be up. No, like when I got up, not, but like when I left, when I left my house, I was thinking, okay, should be sunny by now, but then it was uh, nublado. Uh, What's that? Like when there's, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word? Nubes. In, in Spanish it's nubes, nublado, clouds. It was cloudy, oh my god. How could I forget a word like cloud, like cloudy? I mean, that's like a word we use like almost every day, like because you say, oh, it's in the cloud. Even though that's like not a normal cloud we're talking about. Whatever. Don't listen to me, I'm just like talking. <laughs> just in order to talk, to say something. Okay, now you can fold over the leg and have a round back if you want to. And I just realized, I mean, this is a stretching video, so I don't even need to talk that much because anyway, I'm going to put some like relaxing music uh, onto the video, behind the video. How do you say that? I don't know. And who cares? So, back to the other side. Um, extend that leg, and that leg goes back. Um, I want it about a 90 degree angle here. If you can, if you cannot, you can have them closer, but try to have that 90 degree angle. That foot is flexed, and we're trying like to reach over with the opposite hand towards that foot. If you're up here, you're up here again, it's like, it's, you don't have to get all the way down. It's just important like to maintain the form, to, to do it right. So, you're up here, you're up here. If you're further down, then you're touching. Maybe you're touching your foot. Maybe you're up here. And stay here. Okay, 
Now, maintaining a straight back. Come, and you can, you can point your foot or flex it, it's up to you. I hope you still see me. Um, come onto your elbows and have a straight back. If you can, maybe you cannot, then you stay up here. Of course, again, like it's about maintaining that straight back. And then we stay here for a few breaths. And if that's not your limit, then you can go even farther down. All the way down, like that. And maybe it's easier if you flex uh, your foot or if you point it, just try it, try out what works better for you. And this is a really good stretch to like open up your hips to and you should do that uh, if you want to get the pancake. So now we're going to lean back, come back onto our elbows, and we will feel a stretch in our quads. And if you can, you can go all the way back, but you don't have to again. It's uh, optional. And it's an advanced move, of course. If you're not that advanced, just stay on your elbows or, yeah. Let's get up again. Whee. And there's another side, right? So let's do the other side. Let's get this 90 degree thing going here. And reach over. Again, if you're up here, you're up here. If you're down here, you're down here. And one side is always might feel tighter than the other side. It's totally normal. We're usually more flexible and stronger on one side uh, and not on both and not equally on both. Okay, now come onto your elbows. If you can, again, maintain that straight back. Maybe you have to stay up here. And if you do that every day, you eventually get onto your elbows and eventually even get lower down. And again, have your foot flexed or pointed, whatever feels right for you. Stay here for a few breaths. I hope you can still see me. And now come farther down if you can. And you don't have to move. Uh, I'm just moving so that you can see me and that I don't fall, fall down. And come back onto your elbows to feel a nice stretch in your quads. And if you can go farther down, then go farther down. If you can, then stay up there. And you can stay in those stretches as long as you like, actually. You can do them way longer. I just don't want to bore you too much. But maybe you can just like put on some music you like and just do these stretches and yeah. Each, every, every day or every other day. And come back up. So, now. Squat down like that, like an Asian squat, if you can. If you cannot do the Asian squat, I mean the Asian squat squat when you're like down with your, both of your feet on the floor, then you are here with your, just with the, uh, just on your tippy toes. But if you can, one foot down and the other one to the side and stay down here. And if you can, have your hands like this, hands free, do it. But maybe some people have to have their hands here other people have to have their hands here in order to like not to fall down. Do whatever you can. 
and look at the, 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 the toes there on the floor and now we're turning them up and flexing the foot. can kind of rock and down with the toes over to the other side and we stay here for a little moment and turn it up flex the foot and rock and down and back up and rock this is kind of more dynamic stretch and down over up and rock we're going to do this one more time on each side over up and rock down over up and rock okay we're almost almost done these are the basic stretches to get into the pancake actually and of course you can do them like just like i said like hold them longer do them more than once just like the one the, the one with the l's i think uh, this one for example you can do like go back and forth various times in order to uh yeah to have a more effective stretching workout oh my god i have that hair in my mouth now again open your legs feet up and we're going to touch and touch and if you cannot touch your foot you're just touching your shins and touch because now we're going to do some more like movements and poses in this uh i call it split sits or ball it, uh, although oh boy, i'm starting to talk german although it's not a split but it's kind of when you go farther to the front then it's becoming a split so that's why i call it this um and yeah just we're going to do some more poses here some more movements and then we're trying to get into the pancake up, up, and, up, up. and now we're trying to touch a foot with the other arm with the opposite arm if you cannot do it you're just going to do this it's totally fine But after the stretch that we did, you should start feeling uh, more flexible. You should notice that it's easier to uh, do those stretches. Step. And now onto your elbows. And you should, this should be easier after doing the other stretches. Because I did this before with you in order to show you how those other stretches like modify your flexibility right away. Because this should feel easier by now. And yeah, when we're doing the pancake, it's important to keep your feet up. We're not doing this. We don't have our toes down. We have, we have our toes up. They're not touching the floor. And let's go up and down. Up and down. With a straight back. Of course. And I hope you can see me fine and I'm not like out of the picture. And now let's try to like really get down into that pancake. Walk, 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 and hey. so there we are. There we are in the pancake. And if you're not in the pancake, you soon you'll be, you will be, you will be soon if you keep doing those exercises. And stay here for a moment, or stay here, or here, or wherever you're at. We're staying for 10 count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And come up. And since we're here, let's kind of try to see what, if there's the possibility of getting into splits. 
I'm not completely in my splits, but almost, if you want to. If you want to, it's totally optional. We're done with the workout, by the way. We're done with the workout, great job. Um, I hope you did like it. I hope this video will help you to get into your pancake and even into your splits, because it's just it's like I said, the same stretches apply for the splits. We just have to like go for forward, more forward. <laughs> And yeah, thank you for working out with me. Um, if you did like the video, please hit like and subscribe maybe. And yeah, uh, maybe leave a comment. I'd appreciate that. And yeah, have a great week and I hope I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.